It's been a hot minute since I've done an analysis video, and today I'm really excited to analyze Cecil Kirkibus' version of Solveig's song. So if you want to find out how she sings and what makes it so wonderful, stay tuned. Hi and welcome to today's video. In case you don't know me yet, my name is Freya Casey. I'm a professional singer and vocal coach from Germany. I am classically trained. I have sung in opera professionally. And um, Cecil Kirkibö for me is someone who is, you know, she's classically trained, but she does a lot of semi-classical or crossover kind of repertoire. However, Solveig's song is a classical piece. It is a beautiful piece of music and I'm gonna look at her 1991 version. She was really young back then and she has the clearest, purest voice. Again, here's a disclaimer. This is just an analysis video. If you wanna watch the original without any interruptions, you can watch the original. I will put the link below in the description. I am going to stop the video. I'm gonna comment on what she does because I would like to provide some value for singers who actually wanna figure out what she's doing. Oh, she looks beautiful. Okay, let's talk to this. Um, she takes early breaths. This is something I always try to teach my students. It's really important to take that deep early breath when you can. And even when you don't have a lot of time, so in the beginning here now, there's this really long intro. So you have all the time in the world and it's a slow piece. So you have all the time in the world to stand there in your posture and to take that nice, slow, deep breath so that your lungs are filled and you can start singing with full support from the top of your breath, meaning fully inhaled. And even the breath that she takes in between phrases, it's very deep, it's not, it's not gaspy. It's very calm but very deep. And that's really important. You have to sing from the top of your breath to really get the best out of your support. And of course, to use, to utilize your airstream for the longest. Another thing that she does is, you know, she, she sings semi-classically. So she doesn't create tons and tons of pharyngeal space. She is in a space where it's a little bit more narrow, it's not nasal, but she does add some nasal resonance in order to not sound too huge and gigantic. She's not darkening her voice or anything. She's making it very bright and light, which I think for this piece is absolutely beautiful. And of course her phrasing is beautiful. She's not just plowing through. She is accenting and lightening up. There is leaning into the pitch and resolve. Listen to it as we continue on. Deep breath. Nice deep breath. And she has the most beautiful vibrato. It's not too fast, it's not too slow, it's not too wide, it's not too narrow. That's a really important factor. If you pay attention to singers that you really love, the vibrato is probably one of the major things that make you think this is beautiful or this is not beautiful. I love that she is having, you know, she's singing a pure E. 
she's not darkening it, she's not covering it. It's very bright and it suits her so well and it suits the song so well. And she's smiling, uh, however, she might be smiling, but she's not really spreading her face. It's not narrow in any way, but she is having this really young voice because, you know, she sounds like a young, I mean, she is young, but even young people can sound dark and heavy, but she wants to sound light and bright because this is also her personality. It's also what the song should reflect. And uh, singing the pure vowels, I think, is beautiful. This is my jam. I love that so much. I don't like a lot of darkening and covering and, uh, you know, just adjusting. You don't have to adjust the vowels too much unless you start singing really a lot higher in head voice. So love the pureness of her vowels. <laughs> See how she's lightening up that top pitch on the end? She is not leaning into it. And that sounds beautiful. She's lightening it up because musically, that's what it should do. I love how she gives beautiful space to the awes. Watch her lips, her lips go forward just a bit. She's not exaggerating. The main work takes place where you don't really see it. Her, your, her support, her airstream, her breath, and of course, you know, creating that pharyngeal space so to where all the vowels are placed beautifully they have the best resonance possible for the respective vowel that she's singing. She's not omitting the consonants. They're not too strong and I think they're not too weak. They're beautiful for this style that she is trying to sing here. And that it's, it's so spot on for this song. I just, it's one of my favorite performances ever of, you know, like for this song anyway, I love her performance of this song because it's so pure. I love this. Okay, this is my favorite part. It's also the hardest part. She's creating the space where it's important. She's not creating too much open space on the first part, but when she goes higher at the end, she actually, on the ah, she gives it space before she goes high. She doesn't go ah. She actually goes she opens up, she relaxes her jaw, and then she lightens up on that top pitch. With a nice relaxed jaw, she just lifts it up, she doesn't push it up, she just lifts it up, meaning nice compression, subglottal compression. It's the inhalare la voce principle in action here. Very little air stream on the top, you know, very little air coming through but it's dense and it's very controlled. And she is going from like a mezzo forte, maybe not quite mezzo forte, but medium volume to then a piano on the top. That's hard, but it's so beautiful. When you sing this song, it doesn't sound really great when you just, you know, but it sounds so much more beautiful when you actually get more tender on the top to where you emphasize the bottom and then just float on the top. And then she puts beautiful steady vibrato on there. 
So well done. And now the second part. I'm just going to enjoy this now because I commented on most of it. Watch your breath and her posture. And her phrasing is so exquisite. I love how she lightens up. And that's what it's all about, the phrasing that I always talk about so much. It's not about just singing the right pitches at the right time. Dynamically, there's a lot she does. Even every single pitch has a life of its own. It's not da 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 da, but it's da 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 da. So it's very, very dynamic, but very subtle. Floaty. So soft. Okay, hold on. I want to say one more thing. She's not spreading. She's not covering. She's just... My teacher always did that. <laughs> she would always do this. And she had the most beautiful front teeth. It's really about letting the sound waves, letting the beautiful resonance that you've created, letting it come out. You don't want to go like this, but you want to be relaxed and just... I know it's hard for a lot of people to actually get that concept of what do you mean you want me to show my teeth like uh? a lot of singers get really tight lips and then they cover it really brightens up the sound when you don't cover your lips that doesn't mean you're you're not really using your cheeks too much it's not sideways it's more like a upward lift just wanted to mention that and now watch it one more time when she actually sings through that vocalese part how she's creating space at the end when she does that octave jump so relaxed dynamics Yes, it's so beautiful. Let's so actually watch the entire. <laughs> I love how the strings are all in unison. And the lower one. This is so beautiful, bravo. And you know, I love how she has the dress that is, you know, the, the traditional dress. She embodies Solveig and I love this. Check out my videos about how to sing opera. I will link the playlist below if you're interested in learning more about how to sing classically. There's a lot. I have a lot of soprano videos because that's, of course, what I know how to demonstrate the best. I'm not a tenor or a baritone or a bass. 
So I have a lot of soprano resources. You may want to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Until then, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Makes me feel sad for the rest.